is part of the modern commercial ecosystem today. It's not a standalone channel, and that means it's part of everyone's job. So as an e-commerce leader, the more you move up in e com the more well-rounded you need to be, less as a practitioner, and more as a business enabler. So rather than thinking about pixels and 3P and acronyms up the wazoo, think about how you can play a role in aligning interests, getting everyone speaking the same language, and focusing on the roles that each person can play and in influencing that ultimate path to conversion and loyalty. That will help you advance, not just as an e-commerce leader, but as a leader overall. My number one tip for females in the e-commerce space or really any industry is to just continuously grow your network. It is so easy in this digital age to just ask for that virtual coffee and make time, whether it's 30 minutes a week or 30 minutes a month, you are never going to regret that one-to-one -one meeting and picking someone's brain. You never know where that connection can take you. It could turn into a job opportunity or a hire for yourself could turn into a peer-to-peer -peer conversation where you can use that person to pick their brains with problems that you're going through, or it could turn into another introduction of someone else that you should meet. So my number one uh, point of advice is really to use your network and continuously grow it. The most important thing to remember is that, you know, e-commerce as you know it is a 24 seven job. Uh, it's a fun and challenging job. Uh, but to be successful in e-commerce, it requires a level of dedication to your career. And as a woman, that is okay. It's okay that your e-com career is as important to you as some of your other roles in life, being a mom, a partner, a sister, a friend, etc. But I think my piece of advice for you would be with a job that doesn't have a start time or an end time, you need to be careful to create your own boundaries. So that's time for exercise, time for family, but especially time for your own curiosity and learning. Um, I think setting those boundaries are really important for you to get better at your job um, and really to be better and to grow your e-com business. The number one piece of advice I would like to share with other women looking to become leaders in e-commerce is to create a personal board of directors or a small group of people you can go to for support and advice on advancing your career. Ideally, the board should consist of individuals who have a strong personal and professional interest in seeing you succeed. They also should be comfortable giving you honest feedback. Board members can introduce you to key business contacts, help you refine your goals and achieve them, decide when and how to switch companies, learn how to manage people and office politics, and ultimately be a sounding board and source of support. My personal board of directors has helped me immeasurably in my career. In fact, I wouldn't be where I am today without them. My piece of advice for women to look, looking to be leaders in e-commerce is that perfection is the enemy of progress. That one of the best things about working in e-commerce is there are no right answers. Every day we get to do better than we did yesterday. We get to try new things. We got to do get to do things differently and see what happens. And so there's no there's no barrier to entry. There's only new ideas and trying things and seeing where they take us. So don't let the desire to be perfect hold you back. So working in e-commerce or initiating your own online business is one of the most broad and challenging careers. You're constantly figuring out your competitive advantage. You're listening to your customers and understanding what moves the needle for your business growth. And it never ends. It constantly changes and you are never in your comfort zone. So my number one tip for women in the e-commerce business is to be visionary. Become a leader. Build a team that shares your vision, but will always challenge you to new ideas. And when you have a team that understands your strategy and where you're going, you can delegate tasks so you can focus on your business growth and your scale.